Hey, show down 15 here. Okay, this week's film was The Zookeeper. Now, all in all, decent enough film, rather average though, in overall. Essentially, the moral standpoint, can't really see where they were going. Because on the one hand, they presented be yourself, but on the other hand, they pointed out that the only way to succeed in business is to be a giant douche. I don't really know what they were trying to say about that one. They used some innovative ideas. The plot line was amusing, rather odd, but it makes sense. The performances were quite standard for some of the for some actors. The voice talent was I don't know if it was sufficiently disguised, but I hadn't heard the voices recently enough to really associate, disassociate the animals with their voice talent until you watch the credits. So you know it's quite a good. F film for that. The idea of using the gorilla and the using a gorilla and taking him to TGI Fridays in a polo shirt, that's funny, that's quite good. The idea of getting a big guy to go around an entire ballroom on the little hangy sheety things, that was kind of amazing too. Essentially it's got the basic rom com plot, you know, but it's the um, post-first rom-com plot. Essentially, boy has been dumped by girl who isn't right for him. Boy meets girl who isn't right for him again. And he doesn't notice that girl who is right for him is under his nose. Still, I quite like the idea of a character who's dedicated to his job. That's refreshing to see. Because at the end of the day, loving your job is great. I mean, I would love to love my job. But I don't have a job, so what am I going to do? Anyway, overall, not bad. Not brilliant, though. So, so, so. Anyway, if you want to watch it, awesome. If you don't, oh well. It's not really a great loss. I mean, it's not exactly a cinematic triumph. But, you know, it's not too bad. See you next time.